Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, feel most welcome. And for all the returning subscribers, Karibu Sana. Thanks for the support so far and may God bless you. So today I want to share with you how I'm going to cook one of the traditional vegetables in my village i actually planted it with you guys if you've not yet yet watched that video where i planted kunde you can go watch it our kundes are ready have already started harvesting them so let me take you around the farm and show you the things that we've planted and they have really grown and i'm harvesting them like let me just show you these are kundes. I'll show you what I'm calling kunde because that's my local language. For this one is spinach. We planted spinach with you the other day. And this is how they are. I've not yet started harvesting them. Then I've realized they have these funny, funny colors. Not all of them, but just some of them. If you know what uh, this is and how I can treat it, Comment down below because it's so strange for me. And also there's something that is, um, I don't know what it's doing to the leaves. Like this one. I think they are either buds or worms or anything. If you are a large scale farmer out there, I know you guys do farming. So you can help me and tell me what that is and how I can treat it. On this other side, this where we have the kundes. Look at all this. And in Africa, we have two types of kunde. We have a kunde where you harvest the leaves alone. And we also have another type of kunde where you remove, uh, you pluck it out together with the roots. And even the stem is edible. But for me here, I plant the one we harvest the leaves. Let me know which type of kunde you plant in your country because I know we are different. This is something else we planted also. These are kelts actually. But something I've noticed, kelts are growing at a very slow rate compared to the spinach. I planted the kelts before the spinach, actually at a gap of around two weeks. And as you've seen, the spinach are even ready to harvest, yet the kelts are just small. I suspect they have a retarded growth if crops have uh, such things. So I'll be patient enough and wait for them. And I'm definitely sure that uh, they'll be ready. So this what I'm calling kunde. Let me know how you call this in your country. Because I know by looking at it, you can see it. But when I mention kunde, some of you may not understand it. Look at this. This is my favorite vegetable. I'm a greens. And I love, love it so much. It's good because you can add your blood count. It's so healthy. Like, I just love it. What's your favorite uh, greens? Let me know also on the comment box because for me it's kunde. Something else about this type of kunde, you, harvest, uh, you cut the leaves like this. Then you throw this castem. But because they are too young, very fresh, I'm not going to do this work for today. You remove the that kaina castem when the kelts are kind of hard or rough. Next, I'll go ahead and start washing the kelts. Sorry, washing the kundes. And this is how you do it. For kundes, you don't wash them just like any other uh, greens. You ensure that the water is floating on top of your greens. So let me just show you. We are going to put water inside this basin till it floats so that washing becomes easy. As you've seen, they have much uh, soil particles. And that's why you should do this. For me, I hate vegetables which have some... Um, soil particles or any food that has maybe stones because i think my teeth are becoming somehow sensitive so this is what you should do and when you dip your hand down there you can feel the soil so by doing this you ensure that the soil uh, is removed from the leaves look at this something else you should not sieve the water just remove your greens like this then leave the water there. I'll definitely show you 
how the water looks like because I'm sure we will find soil particles inside. So let's do this. Let's remove all of them because we don't want to waste anything and we can't wait to eat this. So next I'm going to go ahead and pour out this water so that we can see if we have some soil. If we don't have soil particles down there, we won't wash them again. But if you have them like these ones, we are going to repeat the process again. Look at this. So I'll go ahead and rinse the basin. Take the vegetables back to the basin. Put more water. Rub them with my hands. Then I remove them and repeat the process till the vegetables are clean. Our kundes are clean because as you can see the water is also clean look at this no soil particles remaining and this means that they are ready so I'm just going to rinse the basin put it aside so we cut the kundes into small pieces so that we can boil them these are my kundes boiling and one thing about this type of vegetables, if you don't boil it, it tends to be bitter. But if you boil it, sieve out the water, you get the best result. Let me know if you do that in your community, because for me, I have to boil my kundes so that I sieve out the water. Because if I don't do that, they end up being so bitter. Next, I'm going to fry red onions till they turn golden brown. And as you can see, our onions are really turning. So for this one, I don't put any other ingredients. I'll only add some salt, no tomatoes, no nothing, because I'm going to cook my kundes with, um, with a ghee berry. So I'll put the kundes inside the fried onions. And as you can see, I had some small pieces of meat remaining. That's why I have added them inside my greens. I'll go ahead and start mashing them. So that at least they absorb that um, onion's flavor together with the salt. Now that they are almost ready, this is the time I'm going to add my githeri. Githeri is a mixture of boiled maize and beans. Yeah, here we call it githeri. You can also tell us how you call it in your country and this is how it looks like. Look at this. If you love githeri like me, comment, comment down below and tell me in the comment box. So this is how our food looks like. I've actually mixed it and I'm taking it with avocado. This is what we call avocado or guacamole. guys i think we've come to the end of today's video i hope you've enjoyed if you have kindly give the video a big thumbs up and in case you've not subscribed 
kindly subscribe to my channel let's meet on my next video thanks a lot for watching bye